A car expert, Matis Kurat, flew to Las Vegas, Nevada to check out the CES, the world's biggest consumer electronics show. He says that's because increasingly electronics aren't just found in people's living rooms, but in their garages too. So automakers are now keen to show off their new electronics. Some now describe their cars as smartphones on wheels. Hoping to draw attention to something other than its emissions cheating scandal, Volkswagen was also at the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to Volkswagen here at the CES in Las Vegas. And this is where the car maker is headed, towards a future that's greener, safer, and employs innovative technology. VW wants to be seen as leading the charge, but it's got a ways to go. The world premiere of the Buddy concept is VW's next step towards the mobility of the future. Its newly developed electric motor allows the car to travel some 500 kilometers on a single charge. Combined output is around 233 kilowatts. The Buddy's design is also futuristic, both inside and out. Herbert D says VW has strong faith in the future of electric cars, though that will vary according to the market. They see China as a major market, but e-mobility is also on the rise in the U.S., particularly on the West Coast. He says the increasing ranges of electric cars will help, and of course, combustion engines are coming under pressure as emissions control is increasingly expensive. Driving in the new Buddy e is the equivalent of a multimedia happening. All passengers can transmit content from their smartphones to the large screen at the back. And up front, drivers can personalize what's shown on the three large displays. And even keep tabs on what's in their home refrigerators via the internet. Mata says Audi was one of the pioneers among automakers at the CES five years ago. And this year, the company is showing off concepts for interiors, like this one for the luxury car of the year 2020. It features bendable OLED displays with MMI touch response, a concept Mata finds interesting. But he notes that many of the gadgets being built into cars aren't made by automakers, but by their suppliers. And some of them have made the trip to Las Vegas, too. One was Magna, a global automotive supplier which has been developing innovative technologies for years. Here in Las Vegas, they focused on security. All the vehicles are getting more connected. So as the vehicles get more connected, there's, they're more vulnerable for somebody to hacking into the cars. Magna has a secure gateway solution that prevents threat coming into the vehicle. The way to do it is that we monitor the vehicle, look for any new threats, and once a new threat come in, we send it back to the cloud and we analyze the threat. And once we determine that it is a real threat, we provide an update to the module, not to the particular vehicle, but for all the vehicles. And from that point on, all the vehicles are protected from that particular threat. At fellow supplier ZF from Friedrichshafen, Germany, the spotlight was on driverless cars. Automated driving starts with safety, but of course you have the elements of sensing, of processing that and thinking about what you need to do and then the actuators, the actual muscle of doing something about it. So we are presenting what the portfolio that the new ZF has to be able to support this, this journey that we're on to deliver automated driving. Mata says that in spite of all the electronics, suppliers continue to provide automakers with mechanical parts too. ZF has brought one along to the show. It might look a bit odd that the wheel turns so far, but it ensures that this small car has a turning circle of just six and a half meters, and that comes in really handy in city traffic. BMW presented a concept it calls iVision Future Interaction. The vehicle is based on BMW's i8 concept Spider, a plug-in hybrid sports car. 
but its user interface is completely new. Marcus Behrens says AirTouch is BMW's extension of gesture control. It's no longer limited to a set of hand and finger motions. Rather, you move your arm around. Icon options pop up as tiles, which are then selected by gesture. It all works very simply, intuitively, and quickly. BMW has also equipped its i3 with innovative technology for the CES. It lets the vehicle park itself. Drivers only need to perform a wave of the hand. This feat is made possible largely due to ultrasonic sensors. Mata says cars have made a quantum leap compared to the days when their electronics were limited to radios and speakers. Now there's self-driving and connected cars, and he can't wait to see what the future brings.